In the previous video, we saw how to drag and drop a button component onto a page. Now let's set up the button to serve its intended purpose, which is to create a link on a page. Then we'll see what other ways we can also add links to a page. Remember to check that you're in edit mode before proceeding. At the time of this video's creation, the button component still tells you to double click to edit it, but in the touch user interface, you only need to click once and then select the configure icon, a wrench, to open the dialog. For button text, enter a word or phrase that will signal to your site visitor what they will see when they click the button. In the link to field, we have several choices. First, you may link to an outside website. To do this, copy the external site's URL and paste it into the link to field. Click the check mark to save. You may check to see that your links work by switching to preview mode and then clicking your new link. Alternatively, you may wish to link to another page within your site. Use the search tool, a folder with a magnifying glass, to navigate to the desired page. You might remember this Select Path dialog from other training videos. Choose LSA Websites and then proceed to the desired page. I'll choose Grad Students for this demonstration. Click the blue check mark to add the page to the link to field. Click the check mark to save. Finally, you can even add a link to a PDF in your DAN, for instance, an application form. Use the search feature to navigate to your site's assets and then your document folder. Locate the desired file and select it. Then click the blue check mark to add the path to the link to field. Click the check mark to save. The other items in the button component are intended to help you customize the look and feel of your site. You can adjust the position of the button text, set the button width, change the button color, and even opt out of having that color fill in. Here's what that looks like. Feel free to pause this video and try out some different combinations with your buttons. We know not everyone wants to use the button anytime they want to add a link to a page. So let's look at how to add a link to an image component and then how to add a link to some text. Click on the image and select the wrench icon. The familiar link to field is indicated here simply with the word link. First, you may link to an outside website. To do this, copy the external site's URL and paste it into the link to field. Click the check mark to save. Alternatively, you may wish to link to another page within your site. Use the search tool, represented by a checkbox, to navigate to the desired page. You might remember this select path dialog from other training videos. Choose LSA websites and then proceed to the desired page. I'll choose, once again, grad students for this demonstration. Click the blue check mark to add the page to the link to field. Click the check mark to save. In the image component, just as with the button, you can add a link to a PDF in your DAM. Use the search tool to navigate to your site's assets and then your document folder. Locate the desired file and select it. Then click the blue check mark to add the path to the link to field. We're sorry, but drag and drop is not available at this time. Click the check mark to save. Finally, let's add a link to some text. Click the text and then select the pencil that appears. Highlight the text you wish to add a hyperlink to. Click the chain icon and then fill the path field the same way we have covered in the previous demonstrations in this video. Web Services is here to support you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email our help desk at lsa.web.support at umich.edu.